Hey YouTube, ready to see a shrimp update? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, this is Brian and I'm coming at you with a shrimp update for either the end of October or beginning of November, depending on when I actually uh, upload this. Today is the last Friday in October, so there's a couple days left if I can get around to editing and uploading it. But anyway, I um, wanted to just take you through all the tanks and show you what's been going on. Not a ton of changes, haven't been throwing much money into the shrimp game at all in the last several months just because I've been concentrating on a couple of things. Um, if you watch all my videos, you know that I built a new reef tank uh, last summer and I've been sinking a lot of money into that. And I'm also putting money into my business, Aquatic Support Systems, where I sell uh, fish food. I sell the brand Southern Delight Fish Food. So if any of you guys also keep fish and you're looking to try some awesome food for any type of fish, get with me. Uh, the email address will be below and I can send you a price list and all that stuff. Or else go over to Aquatic Support Systems Facebook page and check that out. Or the Brian's Fish Tanks Facebook page too. All the pricing will be on there. But anyway, enough talking um, about that stuff. You're looking at the Pintos, the red Pintos. Um, been doing good. Um, a few babies in there. Um, same old story as last month though. Not a ton of growth, not a ton of breeding but uh, we're moving forward not backwards with these guys so that's good got some nice varieties some spotted heads some some uh, some bellies some uh, you know zebras or whatever you call them this type right here anyway um, they're looking great and I'm really happy with them up above is the Blue Dream Tank. They've been doing good. I sold uh, some packages of these uh, over the last month or so. I think locally mostly. Maybe I shipped one package out too. But uh, they're doing good. Going to kind of let this colony rebuild a little bit and go from there. Next door here are one of my red tanks. The water is super brown now because I just put in a new piece of teddy bear cholla wood. And... Uh, it's really releasing tannins and stuff, but the shrimp are doing great. These are the ones that uh, uh, prior breeder Lindsay Savage called the Savage Reds, and um, just continuing to try to build this colony up at this point. Down below is the one sucky thing. This used to be the Royal Blue Tank. Um, Royal Blues are completely gone from what I can see unless there's one or two hiding out in here. Um, I redid the tank with new substrate and everything and there was still 10 to 15 left, all adults. That was close to a month ago, probably right after I did my last update. Maybe it was in my last update, I'm not sure, but since then they've all died off and I'm going to decide if I want to get some more Royal Blues and continue to try to keep them or go with something else. Down here is the other cherry tank, um, all sorts of grades of cherries in here, from the highest down to the lowest. Crystal Blacks are doing well, they're maintaining I guess I'd say, there's a few babies. I sold a couple packages of these off too, but now I'm going to continue to try to build this colony up. Um, down here is kind of the mixed tie B tank slash a few other things. Um, they've been breeding. Um, there's babies and stuff going on down here. Some unique colors. If you're new to this channel, these tie Bs originated from me crossing a Royal Blue Tiger and a PRL. And then there's also, um, there was a Tangerine Tiger and some aura blue tigers that I left in there so there may have been breeding with those um, strains as well but yeah they're doing good I'm just kind of letting them go and see what happens really really just to kind of see what 
comes of, of these, but there's tons of babies in there all over the place. Then up above that tank is my white slash golden bee tank. Kind of a mix of some different white things. Some whites that came from some crystal reds, some whites that came from red bolts, and some golden bees. You can see there's one actual crystal red in there. Um, the whites, as they grow and breed, then they sometimes have thrown off crystal reds as well. Actually, there's like three of them in there. So I'll call those out, throw them over back into the crystal red tank, and, and kind of go from there. Just kind of experimenting around with this for right now. Over here. Let's take a seat. This is the super crystal red tank. Doing good. Uh, there was some breeding going on. There were some babies in here. Not sure if they made it or not. Haven't had as much time to really sit and watch closely um, on all my shrimp tanks just because I've been busy with, like I said before, the reef tank, the business, and then just also other things in life, work, I was on jury duty, just all sorts of different stuff. So, but yeah, they're doing good. Down below is the uh, mixed Taiwan B tank. Doing good there as well. Wish there would be more breeding going on in here, but there just doesn't seem to be. But we'll try to change that. It's the PRL tank. Haven't seen a baby in here in months. So I'm not sure what's going on. They're not dying off or anything like that, but I just have not seen any breeding going on. Uh, moving next door, tons of breeding going on here. This this is my has been my fastest growing colony to um, recently. This is the higher grade crystal reds. Um, this is the colony that produces uh, pure white ones sometimes, not to be confused with pure pure white line. Uh, just same shrimp that are completely white and so I yank those and put them in the other tank but then sometimes they will kick out crystal reds but <clears throat> this colony has been doing real well <clears throat> uh, next door here is the black pinto tank slash some other Michelin type stuff um, <clears throat> I recently added 10 more black pintos from uh, Daryl, DET Aquarium. There's a few of them in up front. These are the smaller ones. Um, some of the other ones that I've had for a while are the more adult sized. There's a couple adult Michelings in there. So yeah, I'm hoping to uh, see this colony take off. Um, probably will end up taking the Michelin colored ones um, and throw them over in that Tybee tank that I showed you before. Here's my uh, low grade CRS colony. Um, this has always been my biggest <clears throat> and most booming colony. It's probably at an all time low right now sold a lot of them and then just the breeding for whatever reason has slowed down but it hasn't stopped there's still babies showing up all the time you can see some on that glass there and they're in there some over here but yeah uh, this colony's still doing decent um just gonna try to stop selling for a while and uh let this colony grow again all right i'll take you upstairs and show you the two tanks up there Okay, so we're up in the office now. Uh, we'll start with the Blue Bolt tank. They're doing decent. I had a couple of deaths lately. And actually I see one more dead Blue Bolt in this tank right now. <clears throat> right over there by the Choya Wood. But overall, they've been doing good. The, the, this colony's been breeding. Just hope that the deaths don't um, continue. 
parameters are all in check, so hopefully it's just a fluke thing. I really like to build this colony up. Blue bolts are one of my favorite shrimp, so. Sorry the camera shut off there, but anyway, just kind of finishing up on the blue bolt tank. And then we'll go over here to the last tank. This is the uh, wine red tank, or RKK, whatever you want to call them. Um, just a few shrimp in this tank, and they have not bred that I've been able to see yet. Less than 10 in here, but um, they're all doing good. No deaths or anything like that. A few snails in there, too. So we'll just continue to monitor this tank and see what happens. But, um, yeah, that's really about all I have for you right now. Here's a nice adult right back there. So until next time, uh, thanks for watching, and um, appreciate everybody that subscribes to this channel. Uh, make sure that you share these videos and... Um, Tell other people about them that uh, think you think might be interested in my shrimp or my reef tanks or my cichlid collection as well. Um, and uh, like I said before, make sure you go to Aquatic Support Systems Facebook page. Give that a like. And if you're interested at all in fish food, I do sell Southern Delight fish food, the entire line, in bulk and bottles. Um, hit me up if you are interested and we can go from there. Thanks to everybody that subscribes, thanks to everybody that comments on these videos, and until next time, take care.